Okay, guys, uh, this will be just a quick video here to demonstrate application of our the trade copier. Now, th this has been on the market for oh, maybe two months, so we've got quite a few people using it very successfully and quite happy with it, but we do get a number of questions here, and we had not done a video on it, so I thought I'd just maybe answer some of those questions here with just a quick demonstration. So the fir first thing that comes off up often is how do you get to it? Well, it's, it's under new, so you're going to go new, and you'll see it in your list down here at the bottom here it is TDU copy trader okay so that's that's the first bit of it right now once once you have it um, installed here let's bring it up now uh, again this this is just drop dead simple so all, all we're doing is we're establishing here you, you'll note here I've got sim 101 and then the, the, uh, what are we, four here additional sim accounts that are that are uh, copy trading so the master account is here I'm just doing this on the MES with SIM 101 as the master, right? And then 301, 401, the, these additional SIM accounts uh, are, are copying what, what the master is doing. So you'll note here, if I bring this back here, this, this trade here uh, put on in the, in the 101 account, and then you see all the, the additional uh, SIM accounts that are, that are copy trading it. Right? I guess that's the way I have to say it. All right, so that, that's what's happening there. Um, now, the, the other question that comes up is the cross orders. Now, this is pretty slick programming because it, what happens, it does this automatically. So if I'm trading on the MES or the ES, or, or it w wouldn't matter, in, but I want to use the cross orders. So if I, if I activate this on each of these here, what it's going to do, it's going to automatically register that despite the fact that my, my uh, master account is the, is the micro, ES that it's going to copy on the full size and or vice versa if this was the ES and I wanted to copy trade the micros I could do that as well so just so you understand there's there's no additional setup that you need to do if you're trading MES it'll the cross ratio will be the the bigger or the smaller right so that's sh that should be relatively straightforward again these are just these are just on off right and do you want to all of these accounts and then th this is <laughs> I assume that that's pretty straightforward if we wanted to flatten everything so you'll you'll notice that I just flattened all of those trades here and if I wanted to oh shit, what I would I want to oh, well, let's just do it let's just sell sell the market and then let me get the copy trader back up here and you'll see that it is done that but if I go to oh, my positions here let me bring this over here again right so now the positions are on the ES right so trading the micro copying on the ES right so that is how that works, right? It's, it's, of course, good idea to maybe do a little testing with a SIM account just to be perfectly clear on exactly what's happening. Do you want to do this? You know, you, you would want to be careful about that, right? If you're trading micros and you're just be careful that you don't click one of these on if you don't actually want to be trading the full size or right? vice versa. Right there, uh, th th uh, this is redundancy here. There's no re the, the tab's not doing anything. You don't need to fuss with that. Uh, so that's about it, right? It couldn't be any easier uh, to 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 use as a trade copier. So with that, I'll uh, just uh, call it a day here, and uh, we'll let you guys experiment. Just like all of our all of our indicators, if you need uh, a trial, you get a seven day trial of this, and you can play around with it to your heart's content. All right, guys, there you go. That's all I got today.